Mishoku Tensei. Mm -hmm. What can I say about Mishoku Tensei? Mm -hmm. Aside from all the most recent comments about how it picks up and becomes a great anime and everyone loves fucking, uh, what's his name again? Rudius? That's, I, well, that's a questionable take. But... I unfortunately do not like it. You don't like it? Okay, so it starts off good, but then it's like, I get he goes on his little adventure and then, you know, starts making Little? Up. That was a big adventure, my guy. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm just like, I feel like I forced myself to watch it. Like, I'm just not as into it as people are described. Like, they hype it up, and then I watch it, and it's like my expectations were, like, blown to smithereens. And it's like, but it's the bro. best isekai of all time, Ichiban. No, it's not. Who said that? No, it's not. That's it bad. is! It's not no, because I'll definitely I'll definitely side. I don't know if Dylan wants to support me on this or not because I know he likes Mushoku Tensei. But I, I yeah yeah bro, sort out online over Mushoku Tensei. Whoa, sort out yeah. over Mushoku. That is I'm, a hot take. No no no, I'm not even <laughs> capping right now. That no, I'm not even Yo. capping. Not clickbaiting. Like I'm dead ass. I'm not even joking. Like I really? I hundred percent agree. Yeah. Okay, so on, on this tier list, if you were gonna rank Mushoku, would you put it in Mushoku Tensei tier, actually good tier, mid tier, bad like actually bad tier, or vending machine tier? I didn't even un like I didn't even see that you made Mushoku Tensei. That wasn't me. That was Archie. Shout out to Archie. That wasn't me. <laughs> Archie, you disgust me. That bro. I was <laughs> Yeah, I would say I wouldn't call it mid. All right, I would say maybe one more above mid, but I wouldn't actually say it's good. It's like somewhere between. Um, there. He's breaking the tier list. That. He's breaking the tier list. Do we need to make new tiers? No, no, we don't. <laughs> Let's just put it in actually good. I wouldn't say it's. That's where you would put it. I think it should be Mishoku Tensei. I. How are you gonna? You gave me the thumbs up. <laughs> Yes, I agree with that. Sword Art Online is better. I didn't say Mushoku Tensei should not be Mushoku Tensei level because I do like yeah. Mushoku Tensei a lot. All I said was that I like Sword Art Online more than Mushoku Tensei. I still think Mushoku Tensei deserves to be in its own category up there. I think you're full of shit, and I think all of you <laughs> made a new tier list. <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. Like Mushoku Tensei tier is crazy dick suck. That is crazy dick suck. It's true. I mean, all right, go, you can, you can, only because of how real they keep it, and as compared to other isekai, like this is definitely taking on a different angle in terms of like drama, backstory, and so on and so forth. Usually in other isekai, it's like you don't have. How do I say this? Okay, so like for example, uh, Re Zero, right? Mm, that's gonna like, be another good discussion to have. You, he doesn't, as at least not from what I, from what I remember, he doesn't bring up his like previous life stuff. In, into into that he's just like doing his own thing uh what else is like that slime in my in my opinion i think sometimes with isekais like that a big reason why if you think about it that they don't talk about their past life is because honestly it's not necessarily their past life because like in re-zero's case right. he never died he just got instantly transmitted which is an isekai yes what i'm saying is that there's really no reason for him to think about his past life still living his current one so oh, yeah. Like that's, yeah, what that's what I will I say. Shows like that. Yeah, what I will say is that like for certain uh, MCs, it it just kind of makes a little bit more sense that they don't want to talk about it or acknowledge it because mm -hmm. they were living escapist lifestyles in the first place. Like they're shut ins and they weren't really yep. fulfilled in their previous attempt at. And then now that they're you know it's like a sandbox and you get that. And what I will say is that in in Re Zero, you do see him touching on a little bit of in season two of like uh, what his you know actual life was, and then you. Really really do get like little nuggets of it in Mushiko Tensei as well but it's meant to be a narrative device that like reinforces like he's not one of those guys who wants to like figure out how to go back to his world like he absolutely doesn't want to do that because he's gotten it he's gone through actual development here in this new world that he never could have gone through in the old bland world that he was living yeah, in so right. that's valid that's, that's very true yeah like that's honestly that's hella true it, in the modern world you're not gonna like the journey that he's gonna take from a fucking man of disaster in the first place like bro he if he was still living in the real world or modern world bro he would not like he had to learn how to survive like grow up yeah i thought it was a really great part of season one where he was literally still afraid to go outside and yeah, he was yeah. a baby and he had to learn how to walk and then he had to learn how to after learning how to walk he had to learn how to walk 
outside the front door. He yeah. was still traumatized from like yeah. the previous exactly. existence he had. And uh, it was it was really great that it like they they took the time to kind of show you him learning to crawl, learning to walk and things like that. My only main beef with Mushiko Tensei is that Rudius is really overpowered. And I'm not a huge fan of the overpowered like protagonist kind of uh, uh, yeah, thing. Yeah, that's, that's all about deaf ears, brother, because I love overpowering <laughs> protagonists. That's I, I mean, eminence I like it when it's done. I like it when it's done like really well, and I think that it's done well enough in Mushiko Tensei. That's just what my main beef outside of the obvious glaring issues with the show. Uh, the come up. Yeah, I mean, Rudius is a Blinded. Rudius is a pig. <laughs> like uh, he is a he, he is a he's definitely not a role model. Uh, he's no. not a, like a he hero. Yeah, yeah he, he's not, and that's not that's not what he's written to be. He's written to be somebody who you partially despise, who turns into uh, and it took me a long time i just recently got through season two and i honestly did not vibe with rudius at all through most of season one although i have vibed with some of the things that he went through and a lot of the side characters and things like that but in season two i actually feel like i do think that rudius is turning into a character i really do actually appreciate he still does some absolutely abhorred things but <laughs> the development is crazy and i like that they didn't front load all of it they showed you a good amount of development at the beginning but it was like all of the, it was like six years before this dude was even comfortable like going out the front door yeah which is crazy hey but um we really rank mishoku tensei before doing something if it feels like it feels like we just can't until like we like have something happen i don't know what that was though i mean i'll leave that up to you you know what my take is we know mm-hmm. what what dylan's take is i don't know river it's up to you do you want to do you want to ride or die or like what's going on with that it feels like we need to do something first <laughs> <clears throat> oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I did not get that at all you know i'm a little rusty. so yeah anyways, i'm honestly I, i'm honestly on the boat that it's probably one of my top three favorite isekais that's of crazy all time. i agree, I'm not even, I, agree. I'm, I did I agree. not feel that way until i got a good chunk into season two i knew that it was quality and like but there's a difference between like best isekai and favorite favorite isekai because one is preferential and one is like it's like objectivity versus subjectivity and it is objectively high quality but there are things that i didn't really vibe with about the subject like about the source material and things like that when you know a lot about like like what the world building and setup is going towards and things like that it is just far and away was like a cut above so many other isekai and i would say that yeah it would be in my top three favorite at this point but it was not it while i was in season one not at all hmm. That is interesting. Because like, I was rewatching Mushoku to try and get back to season two, and I was rewatching the first season, and I was like, "Damn, this is really disgusting to watch." Looking back at this, I kind it kind of like went over my head because I was it was like the first time like with the show, I was like, "Oh my god, this is for my first time watching Mushoku, whatever." Second time through, all I'm seeing is all the perverted ass shit he was doing in season one, and I'm just like man but then i also i saw a video and it's like somebody breaks down like like you said too as well bexy i think but you're supposed to not like rudy like you're not you're not supposed to like him like especially in the first in the first season like you're not supposed to like him he's a piece of shit what are you doing (laughs) 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 all right all right all right everybody shut the hell up and listen to what i have to say hello listeners welcome to your new addiction your new favorite podcast series welcome to the flow you're here with me the former blonde still ichiban number one man on the playstation i'll be guest starring with your boy river the flow god what's good flow gang yeah we have three, I repeat, three more special characters on the scene. We got the living anime OG, Game Passer 23. I'm only 26, and I'm not old. He's that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I promise I'll fix your, I'll fix your intro after this. <laughs> Little quick backstory. This man doesn't like his intro anymore because River was bashing on him. But yeah. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll 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 bash on him later. Whoa! So anyway, hey yo! <laughs> that wasn't even. It sound a little bit gay. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> hey, hold on. Nah, because that's just you guys. Little Y'all little are just little. little nah, you guys are just a little fruity. That's how you were thinking about it. Oh. Anyway, okay. Anyways, we got our left right hook anger management crook, Mister Undercooked. Yeah, look uh, at him over there vibing. My God. Well, I'm not vibing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shut up. I'll fucking kiss you. Anyways. And then we got our guy from it. Texas. Oh, you're going to ruin it? You're going to ruin it? Look, this one, this one, in my opinion, we got our guy from Texas coming straight out from the underworld nexus. A jinx. A hex. It's that guy, Vex. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. Yo, yeah. What's good? Yeah. I was like, that was he. That was this he. is the flow. Welcome to the flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so yeah. much for having me. I'm so, I'm sure, so thanks for coming, man. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Okay, so to finish off, um, pause, but Michelle Kuten said we do need to rank it. I think Alex, stop. <laughs> Alex, stop. <laughs> stop what? Every time you say that, I'm not even looking at him. Yeah, yeah, because like you, you just got to see Alex's facial expressions as I talk. It's, it's just he always has some type of something. Um, but then. He, <laughs> <laughs> so um for me mishoku like like has been said already i don't want to beat a dead horse but you know the world building absolutely amazing animation amazing where he says a character grew on me season two i think has some some great moments i think at the beginning it was a bit slower than season one the erectile dysfunction thing kind of weird um i'm not gonna lie i uh, not dragged a little bit i think season one especially the second half was great um, so many memorable moments that were like uh, characters, great characters. I think it's very well rounded, and honestly, it, it definitely held my interest. Honestly, I, I, like like literally, Mashoku itself, like damn near. Once I, I finish season one very quickly, I, I don't necessarily watch a lot of anime super quick. So like for me to actually like watch something very quickly, binge it quickly, especially when season two came out, I was basically watching the episodes a day it came out, which isn't really that normal. Uh, I'm not like the biggest fan of Mashoku. Like I don't like it's not like one of my favorite anime, but in terms of isekai, and I, I think it's a great anime. And itself i think as an isekai it's fantastic and i think it would be kind of a crime to not put it mashoku tensei tier but you know so so my vote would be mashoku tensei tier you know what i'm saying if i could um, very wow. quickly on this like uh sorry if you're getting any echo from me just y'all don't talk while i'm talking no i'm kidding <laughs> but uh no, my, my headset's dead so i'm uh but i'm i'm charging it right now but no like um well the thing i love about season one specifically is that it does so so many things so well and none of it is actually wasted once you translate into season two like in season one they have no technical opening animation and like the song isn't like a full song that they play it's like you get clips you get like you get like uh like in one piece they have like cover stories and things like that for the manga and uh so you get to see like the bits of the world that are you know still going and turning around that don't fully center on the main character or the main problems at hand but you get to see all of this crazy world building these beautiful scenes wonderful musical scores it's absolutely breathtaking when you really look at it and again like i said once you translate into season two pretty much nothing is wasted like this little scrub dude that uh eris ends up beefing with in some random random town where he could have ran into Roxy in season one like so much that was like built up right there you end up seeing him again well you know once we get to the academy and shit like that and I was just like I forgot who this guy was and then I remember <laughs> <it's who? laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's super good and then like when you find out about like the superds like this whole completely different race that was prosecuted because like uh, of some other jackass who like pushed his curse into items and then made them use it and then he, you find out that there's like a whole plot with the nympho elf who's like like she's cursed and like her her dude is like trying to like figure out how to deal with the curse so like things from season one really come back and give you like a full payoff and like the, even the people the princesses of doldia village that weren't really touched on in season one we get to see them at the like they're, the the world building it's like so much has been leading to so many payoffs that we really did get and then right. it's like it didn't just pay off pay off pay off it, it gave us it somehow more questions than answers but i'm so happy mm -hmm. with the amount of answers mm -hmm. that we got it's it's honestly like masterfully done when it comes to isekai i won't put it in my top like anime of all time but i would say it is in my top three isekai ever it's just it's really really great far and away the, like the quality is a step above almost anything else i have ever seen in isekai it's a crime not to put it near the top of the list i would say it definitely deserves it, its own tier and i would put it and a few other things right at the top quick quick question so you said the elf with the curse i mean you're talking about uh, the girl that rudius was traveling with right uh, yeah you know apparently because I, I i thought it, apparently that's she's just capping like that's just a lie like she's not cursed i mean whether it's a lie or not it was cool character <laughs> development and no, no, uh fair and fair building. but like because that went way over my head too but i was talking to someone and they were like yeah uh she's lying i was like really <laughs> i was like oh that actually makes sense then and that was 
Like when I realized that, I was like, that's funny. That's actually funny. I, I thought she was like telling the truth too. Like it, it missed me. Now again, I guess this I wasn't the only one that felt like she was telling the truth. I guess she could be, but again, according to other people, she's well, not, I don't know for sure, but I actually like it better if she is lying because that's a character I definitely did not need a redemption for. I was just like, right. okay, that's just her thing. She that's her flaw. Yeah. Like I guess like like from a from a creative writing standpoint, that's her whole trope, that's her thing. She's a hundred percent that cool. I don't need Sex. any more explanation on it. But we the fact that we got like even if it wasn't true that there was a curse there it still came up in the conversation when homeboy was like talking to rudy it's like hey do you know anything about curses and we got like that the, like the breadcrumbs that were laid down in season one we got like a bit of a payoff on that like it, it was reminding us this is still important this is gonna be like even bigger like down the line like i i absolutely loved it and as far as school arcs in anime go season two is probably the absolute best one i've ever seen it's mm -hmm. so good hey man don't, don't get me started on the girl with the mask bro oh my that episode where they had that conversation i don't want to spoil it because i know dylan ain't, ca ain't caught up but bro that episode that was that was so good like the amount of the amount of development we got from that episode like to the overall storyline was great and then obviously the the connection that rudy has with a certain other individual throughout season two was also uh very good you know what i'm saying seeing that develop and so where it ended the, up in. yeah without spoiling anything like too much but like seeing the flip side of events that like you know we thought that we were gonna get another like you know gut punch and like it was oh my goodness i thought that that was like one of my absolute favorite moments of any anime i've actually watched this year it, it was it was it was extremely well done i thought that it like i never thought that i would really have emotional buy-in for rudius after yeah. the the heinous crimes that i saw in season heinous. one yeah and even in, even in season two, two. Yeah. Even in season two, yeah, he does. It's not like right away they just completely redeem this guy. But if you're really there for the journey, and the more and more you pay attention to not just Rudius but the world around him and all of the things that they're setting up, it it really pays off. I, and I never thought I would really be one to say that because like three or four episodes in, I was just like, "What is this?" And I felt that I was. I, it did feel like I was forcing myself to watch it for a bit. Normally, I give anime like a three episode test, and if uh, if by the third episode I'm hooked and like you know like they've done a good thing like foundation laying and things like that and I'm, I'm like if if you know i'm absolutely like needing more then i'll keep watching i was not really needing more when i got to that point like to the like the end of episode three but i'm so glad that i actually finished uh, watching uh like Mushiko Tensei. it's it's unlike any other isekai i think in the things that it's done correctly but it has done some things wrong it is not without its fault <laughs> yeah it has <laughs> <laughs> hey um bastards <laughs> <laughs> Alex, where would you where would you put Mishnoku? Uh, eyes on like the tears or like number wise. Yeah, and the, the tears and the tears. I say second to the top. So actually good. Okay, so we got yeah. so what is that? Two actually goods from you and Ichiban. Y'all put it there, and then me, think, Vex, and Dylan also have Mishoku tier, right? So I think it's. Um, I guess I guess we put it Mishoku. Oh, go ahead. Is that it took a while to get past like the un like the uncomfortable stuff mm -hmm. on the first season, but season two, I think season two is the, the like best season out of Mashuko. And I like the final part where he and uh, oh, I don't know, never mind. Spoilers, Actually, spoilers. spoilers. And I think it saved it. When when they did when they did the thing that they had did in season two, you feel me at the end or shit? Better than season one. Gosh, yeah. So all right, we, all right. Uh, we could put that. That's crazy, here, you know? That's crazy. You know what's crazy? Yeah. Uh, uh, what? Alex. Wait, Vex. No, never mind. I'm not gonna ask that. I'm just gonna assume. I'm just no, gonna go assume. for it, bro. That's for crazy, it, bro. Alex. Our our votes don't matter to you know the white men in control. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. So it just so happens that the minority lost the vote. That's crazy. Hey, I myself am a minority as well, so it's okay. Ha! Ichiba, ha! That doesn't count. River you bought you off. You're so wrong. <laughs> how much did River pay you? Yeah, how much did he give you? He's not giving us shit. Wait, <laughs> are you guys getting paid? Like, <laughs> he's like, he paid me 100 to get on here today. <laughs> shit. He's like, he made me pay him 10 I know. Nah, like, yeah. Oh, my goodness. on the pod today. God damn. <laughs> my uh, bank keeps calling me it's like why is there like a ten dollar fee every the, every uh, thursday and sunday who the fuck is river the flow guy yeah, right. why is <laughs> the fuck is river the flow? hey um oh shit i can say this bar now wait so you know uh <laughs> there's this song so each of our next time you do the intro like if you can like make this since we're in november there's this song right i kind of want to like change it to my thing so it's like it's november where the fuck is river the flow god like if you do that you know what i'm saying um, it's that because it's like it's this raw wave song where he's like, It's November, where the fuck is raw wave? So, like, you do it's November, where the fuck is River to Flow got? I think that'd be tough if we did that. Wait.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, okay, all right. So I don't know what the hell this anime is. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know. What uh, that is. The Twelve Kingdoms. Anyone Me have either. any ideas on that? All right, it looks like it's up to Vex. Have you seen that? Uh, the Twelve Kingdoms. No, I don't think I've seen it. I've heard like a little bit about it, but I don't know. Like, I haven't heard like anything like fantastic about it. It's like it's like more recent. Um, how about yeah? You might have to make a new one. Just unknown. Call it unknown and put it in gray. Yeah, I was going to. Let me see. What what can I call? Uh, I don't want to call it unknown though. We gotta call it something else. What can we call it, guys? We have to be creative Lost here. Souls. You can put Lost the Pokemon. Souls. Put the Pokemon unknown. That was actually my first thought as well, but. <laughs> okay um, I, I know how you feel about listening to minorities so i, I don't want to like push you to do that i mean i could like read the synopsis and we could just judge it off of that if y'all want uh, we, yeah. could, we could we could oh, we call could it, call we it could. potential call it potential call it potential potential trash <laughs> just to make people that's, mad there we go <laughs> this is why people hate us <laughs> Anyways, Vex, go ahead and read the synopsis. If we feel like we're it, we can, or it goes a potential trash. Yeah, because... so apparently there's like an unhappy high school student, like a, a lady, Yoko. Uh, oh, potential Na trash. Nakajima. <laughs> um, so one day she is apparently approached by some random dude who You're just like swears allegiance to her. And then they have to like battle demons and shit. And apparently she's like a surprise empress, but also a high schooler. I think it's probably okay. trash. That sounds... <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, River. No. <laughs> I just want to point out so that everybody gets on River's dick about it. River, right. I just want to point out that you called it trash as soon as you heard that the MC was a woman, and I don't think that's very cash money of you. I told him that he's learning the ways. Cow. The ways yeah. Hide. Hide your face. <laughs> Maybe he's just a big John Lennon fan, and every time he hears Yoko, he's just triggered, right? Like. Oh shit. <laughs> right. That's it. Oh. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm going to say potential trash, too. All right. Um. So ne next up, we have uh, Dead Mount Death Play. Actually um, good. I've been told like to watch one. that plenty of times, and I just I don't. Like this one. Um, what okay. I so for, for, yeah, for me, I've seen the entirety of season one or part part one season one part one haven't seen part two yet i liked it it's good at the beginning it makes you think it's gonna be a normal isekai and then it throws you off because it's like a reverse isekai kind of and like it's pretty interesting plot points are pretty intriguing oh good it's a pretty good characters you know oh it's a story you know i like oh, it you, that's that's impossible no 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 storyline that means you don't I like was it yawn, i was yawning because i saw sao on the list my bad Fuck you, River. oh wow <laughs> all right bet just say the word, um, dude. The word, and I'll drop his address right now. Oh, uh, anyways, man. Yeah, for me, Dead Mount would be an actually good. What, what, what do y'all think? I know Dylan's actually good already. Do you have any other thoughts on it, Dylan? Yeah, no. From what I saw, I only saw up to when they first started to add in the like family uh, dynamics and like all of that politicking within the family or whatever, based on like who he was in this body. Right. Um. So I didn't see past that, which is I assume where a lot of the meat and potatoes was. Yeah, that um, part was pretty good. That part was pretty good. Right. Yeah, but from what I saw, it was good. I liked it, but it was not okay. like it was not on some like crazy ass level where I was like, oh my god! Like it was pretty, it was it was good. It just wasn't. It was definitely not Mashoku Tensei level. Not oh, fair. Um, Alex, have you seen any of this? I don't remember if you what watched was the name it. Of it? Uh, Dead Mount Death Play. No, I have not seen it. Well, uh, Vex, have you seen it? You were for. I saw like ten minutes, and I okay. wasn't. I wasn't really like vibing. I don't know. It it was it was like unique in that it was like two tropes that I haven't really seen. Like like the whole like like right. It was like some necromancer like reincarnation yeah. and shit. Yeah. So like it was it, it kind of felt like I was like watching like a manhwa. It, like I don't know because it's like a big trope right. that I've seen in there. Like it, it just didn't feel like super like deep or like well put together to me. So I couldn't really continue it on. And I I think I just had shit to do that day and I just never picked it back up. <laughs> like I I guess I would say like from me from what i experienced i'd say like mid or maybe verging on actually good but i just never got there you know no it's fair it's definitely one that picks up a little bit as you go like i know the first episode was kind of whatever i think like the second episode is where i started to see more potential in it and then from there it definitely has some, some good moments so i i would say actually good i'm with dylan i guess uh you know i guess we kind of and then vex said he would probably put actually good too and ichiban and alex took our word for it so i think it just goes to actually good you feel me <laughs> yeah Gangway, yeah, 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 yeah. We're still making fun, uh, fun river later. Yeah, we are. Uh, Wait, so Alex, I thought I thought we were like like vibing today. Oh, we are. I still love you, but I still get to make fun of you at the same time. Fuck. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. 
Anyways, man. Um, yeah. So I, I'm so sad. Like, I feel like I need a pick me up, bro. Each of mine. Didn't you have like something that was supposed to like get us in a better mood or something? You guys oh like... shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man, baby, that's you're, actually... really, you're really gonna get a pick me up from this. I'm gonna pick you oh, up okay. and kick your ass from real this. Quick, yeah. I'm glad wow. it went that way. Right? Oh, that's <laughs> Who's been running the TikTok since Ichiban's been gone? Uh, me. That's great to hear, River. Because, oh, man. Okay, so the great news that I want to say is oh. that with the TikTok, River, honestly, you, you've you hit, like, I looked at the views, and I got to say, I'm fucking surprised, bro. Like, you just, wow. I just want to say, wow, bro. Oh, thank you. <laughs> bro, I never knew how low our views <laughs> Bro, our views. I I didn't think it was possible. The last two TikToks that you posted, uh, one of them got two views. Yeah. The other one got three. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, 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 yeah. That's it, bro. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn, kudos, like, bro, good job to you for that. <laughs> My hat's off to you, because I'm fucking dumbfounded. When I looked at the analytics and saw just a plummet in our fucking views, I was like, holy shit, what happened here? And I was like, wait, I've been gone for two weeks. Wait, who ran the TikToks? <laughs> And yeah, I was I, I wanted to talk to you about that because I was like, God damn, bro. I told Alex and Alex was like, oh, shit, that's not good. Bro, um, the way he said it on yeah. the phone, we talked the other day, he made it sound much funnier. This wasn't that funny, no. He made it much bro, wow. funnier on the phone. <laughs> bro. 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 Yeah. I'm still laughing at the quack. Like, that's what had me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh, then, uh... when i when i saw that one of them only had three two views i was like one's up one's up to five there's three and five now <laughs> oh three five yeah so but look up. i wanted we to ask... take them down and re-upload them that, that's that's what we got to do i think no, i uploaded them too late at i want to i want to i want to keep them i want to keep them. that's okay. gonna be your that's gonna be your trophy <laughs> oh my trophy oh thank you thank you for that i really appreciate that uh you thinking of me like that you know that's Aww. i'm very grateful you know that you would consider me valuable enough to give me bro, that trophy damn so i just i just I, bro i just like i say oh get my bad <laughs> oh don't even start look at dylan right now <laughs> <laughs> It looks like it looks like the dream by mice uh from a uh, trek. He does. Hey, I hope he wins that as Halloween because that's great. Right, what's that yeah, Dylan big chilling right now. He's uh, he he Ooh. looks he looks comfortable. <laughs> that might be a new intro for him. My boy big chilling. It's your boy Dylan. <laughs> hey, the first one first one's free. Next one's fifty dollars. <laughs> 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 yeah. He's got the chef hat on. He's cooking. All uh, right, Digimon, Digimon. Where are we putting Digimon? Okay, is this just the first one, or is this all Digimon, like, in general? Like, is this uh... a blanket, like, entry, or is this just Digimon Adventures, like, that came out, like, back in the day? Yeah, because I'm, like, I'm confused. I mean, I can zoom in. I'm guessing it's, I'm guessing he would have intended that to be all of Digimon, but... Yeah, like, the um... picture is definitely from Digimon Adventures, like, the, the OG, yeah. but, like, uh, like, because I got hard opinions on Digimon, like, the first one, and then Digimon mm. the third, like, Digimon Tamers, which is, like, completely built different in my opinion okay right. I, I say we pr we probably just include it as everything because i don't think tamers is on here so so yeah we're just inc just include it all in one the right. top of actually good but i would mm. not like so as a did you want adventures like the first one and did you want adventures o2 it was mid i'm not even gonna lie like it's nostalgia that really had me a lot of it and like uh, some of the voice acting and the dub was phenomenal but when you get the did you want tamers and even did you want frontier my absolute favorite rendition of the digital world and oh my god it's more like a reverse isekai at that point but it yep. is phenomenal far and away it is it is it is absolutely Word. banging when it comes to like 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 did you want tamers is, is actually even like written by the same dude who wrote like evangelion and it's uh it, oh, it shows it gets extremely okay. real yes it gets like crazy real and crazy dark and like it, it's just it is built 
so different. So just because of Digimon Tamers alone, I would put it in actually good. If we were just ranking the first like series of Digimon, I would say that, like maybe the bottom of mid, like barely bottom even qualifying mid, okay. as mid. Because like I'm taking the nostalgia goggles off. I grew up with it. I've rewatched it since. It's not totally. It up. Yeah, it doesn't it, like. And so they did like Digimon Try now, and like I haven't watched all of that, but I'm sure that they did improve upon a lot of the things that I felt didn't age perfectly. But just because of Digimon Tamers alone, and I will die on this hill. It's phenomenal it's it's so close to being like it's just it was too short like in my opinion there was a lot that they could have done i could have gone with a hundred more episodes of did you want to but we, we didn't get that okay. so okay okay so top actually good um for you alex you said like mid based on is that based on the og or have you seen tamers as well uh that's the og i i if i, okay. if I want to watch animals fight i just watch pokemon but it's animals with like guns and chainsaws and like I, like I, ripped I, I ripped jeans. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I uh, never same, thought but... that I'd see the day that I could sit here and look at you and just be like, that wasn't that wasn't very Alex of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I go lie, that's like a crazy that's like a terrible insult to hear. I feel like if you're like Man, I wasn't very, I wasn't very rude. Who the fuck awesome. invited this guy? I'm over here trying to bash on you properly, and this guy tries to come in and try and, and try to colonialize my fucking insult. Get out of here. <laughs> oh Get out of here. Get your Bro. own insult. Damn. He's like, I wasn't really catch money of you, and then River trying to steal it. Right, River. Fuck. Every, every, money, every like, time River says. You don't says know about Cash Money Mock, man. You don't know about my guy Cash Bro, money just mock. put the hard R on Colonizer right now. That's crazy. Okay, all right. Okay, I had to. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Like, this, this. <laughs> every time River talk. Oh my gosh. This is all. This is all I hear. I'm, I'm, I'm cooked. Bro. Uh, other uh, friend is cooked is over there, bro. He's chilling. Like. <laughs> bro, Dilly. He's. <laughs> I'm losing it, bro. That's crazy. I want to zoom in on his face. Oh, you think he fell asleep? Dylan, you wake. He doesn't have his Dylan! headphones. <laughs> okay, oh, he's 50-50. Okay. Play some uh, Bob Marley over him. Bro, for a fact. No, for and a fact. smoke in the background. For a fact. <laughs> this man, for a fact, is getting head right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you thought I didn't notice, huh? <laughs> didn't notice what? Can you turn the camera like down? No, nah, no. Nah, <laughs> pants check. Yeah, like. Oh, hey, yo. Didn't notice. Yo. What did, what did I not notice? Nothing, bro. Just you're you gonna see your junk for some reason. Yeah, no, I, I don't he, know. he thought he thought you were getting ahead, so. Bro, it's November. Like I thought we True, all. Sure, can, he can't. It's November. It's yeah, the, uh, no, come no on, November, dog. guys. Uh, I don't know about that. Why did they? Uh, <laughs> why they thirty? I should be able to levitate. What's that? Yeah, I don't believe in that. All right, all right. Let's move it forward. Let's move it forward. What we uh, got? Ichiban, what, what you putting? Where you putting Digimon? Bro, I'm putting it as actually good. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck Alex. Okay. Is. All right, so that's a two v one. I, I don't have an we opinion. I, disagree on stuff. Uh, <laughs> Dylan, have you seen it? I don't, I don't think you have. Have you? Digimon. Digimon. What? Have you have you seen Digimon? My boy's high as fuck. Okay. Right <laughs> Alright, so we'll put we'll put Digimon to actually good. Um, good. This is uh Drifters. Okay. Has has anyone seen Drifters? I've Drifters not. is actually phenomenal. Like uh oh, shit. It, it, okay. Okay. No, it, it's hilarious okay. to me because like so it's like like enigmatic figures throughout history that all like show up like it's kind of like like record or Ragnarok kind of style and then like it's actually heavily implied that the big bad is Jesus and that's just so oh, funny to me <laughs> but it's actually pretty good quality I put it in actually good interested I'm oh, taking okay. your word on it okay. Uh, is yeah, it, I mean, it's definitely is, uh, worth a watch. It's definitely above mid. I wouldn't put it in top tier, though. So I would say actually good. Okay, so it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. Because okay, actually good. Has, it's, it's, no, so no one else has seen Drifters. So we got to take Vex's word on it. You know, I, I trust Vex. Vex is my guy. So I, I know he wouldn't do us dirty. So I know Drifters must be he, right? Hey, yo. Stop sure. sucking his You dick. don't know that. You, you don't know that, actually. Like, <laughs> no, but, I, but I appreciate you. <laughs> All I heard was slurp, slurp, slurping it up. Oh, God damn. The next, next thing you know, he's like, yeah, so Inu, Inu, Inu Kai-san's dog, Mishoku Tensei tier. What guys. the fuck? What the uh, um, fuck? I did want to say, I've been vibing with that vending machine anime. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he's like, I want to be a little bit. Uh, uh, if I hear that, Drifters, yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Buddy. We're moving that shit down. <laughs> um no anyways, i think it's definitely uh, drifters is definitely worth a watch it's okay. it's a very wild experience i think probably most of us here would would definitely enjoy it uh okay all right here we got a big one eminence in shadow 
up next. Oh, you guys, you, know, I'll let you, guys. Yeah. You, you guys have told me to to watch that like a couple of times, and I actually I think I think um who else was telling me to watch that? Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Oh, oh, is that, oh, okay, yeah. So I haven't seen it, but you know, I I heard I heard many good things. Don't worry. I think I saw it wasn't. It, I think there was someone else that's been praising him in this. I, I don't. I know think it was, was me because I was telling us we have to watch it. What? Oh, oh you feel like Eminem? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, Dylan. Yeah, Dylan. Yeah. Dylan, speech, speech, uh, <laughs> speech. Speech. Um. <laughs> fuck that, y'all talk. Yeah, Dylan. All right. Dylan. <laughs> yeah. Don't use speech. Don't oh, use speech. Oh, God. Encore. Dylan. It's it's encore, encore. Bro, I'm not even high, bro. I was just telling River this morning, bro. I feel like such shit. I've only smoked once today. Yes, I did. I did. I did. I home all day today. We love you, Dylan. Yeah. Fuck my wife. <laughs> I thought you said you had no hose before this, bro. Like, <laughs> he did. Figuratively. No, Wow, well, check your phone. Check your phone. Oh, my check God. Check your phone. Oh, my God. <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> Don't leak the news. Oh, whoa. <laughs> All right, so where are we putting this? I actually haven't seen, um, like, I had ever finished the three episode test with it, but it's definitely on my list. It's not something I dropped. It's just something I haven't picked back up yet. The only thing I really, really remember is just, like, extremely overpowered protag, right? Oh, yeah, bro. The best. It's got one of the, it brought in uh, a new notable sound effect that is, in my opinion, like, it's got, there's, like, there's these shows, like, Fire Force is one of them where it's got that one sound effect where he does that punch, hey, right? Guys, got that going on. This one rivals that, in my opinion, bro. Oh, I love the sound design in Fire No, Force. I think I think yeah. Alex got a message he needs to play. I think I think I saw I saw some pop on his phone. It was like a voice. Just setting him up. Don't open it. Don't open it. Oh my god. Alex, how did you forget about me? Alex? Man, I'm gonna just go back to sleep and fuck. Alex, 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 yeah, bro. Play this shit. <laughs> bro. It's just gonna be in volume. All right. Look at Dylan. Everything's gonna be gonna be all right. Play the music and smoke in the background. <laughs> Dylan, bro, Eminem, bro, where are you ranking it, bro? Yeah, you're the only one, Dylan. You can do it. Mm. Right, we need your opinion. Everybody, sh everybody, shut up. Sh hold on. Am I really the only one? No, Ve I think Vex has seen it too, right, Vex? I've seen like a bit, not a lot of it though. I'd say it's like actually good, but Have I don't know like Atomic? how. No. You haven't seen Atomic, like the that moment in the show. I literally got like like not even a full episode through. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Dylan. What I'm saying. If if it, when it comes to uh, Eminence, you got to watch a little bit. It's not all packed into the first episode, um, but like it's got probably one of the most one of the newer most notable sound effects where he says, "I am atomic," and then he just fucking obliterates everybody. Uh, mm. is that one. Oh shit! Yes, that's a in shadow. I gotta watch it. When he says "I am," and then he, there's the the all range atomic, and then he just fucking nukes everybody. I gotta atomic watch it. them boys. All right, so where would you put it? Actually, good mid. Damn, Michelle Damn. Tensei. Say. I fucking yep. love Eminence, bro. W take. Yeah, Dylan. Dylan, yeah. yeah right. I'm Dylan, our savior. Up. All right, put it up there. It's, it's like... Genuinely, I liked I liked Eminence a lot. The, okay, the sound okay. effect alone okay. could probably take the W over any of these bitches. Like, that sound effect is, like, going to be goaded. Like, it's going to go down, like, exactly the way the Fire Force one went down. I bet yeah, it's you. like I think the reason I quit watching it was just because it was harder for me to watch. Because isn't it like only on high dive or something? Yes. Yeah, I don't have high dive anymore, so I I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pirate it or something. But uh, that's no, dude, <laughs> uh, in, in work, GTA, bro. in GTA, pirate in GTA. Yeah. Arg. Like, you know, I, I like it in real life, but like you, like definitely on Minecraft, you would probably like. Pirate. Yeah, like, like oh, I'm, I'm talking about One Piece, dude. That's like my whole specialty. Is is. Uh, yeah, but but yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, you might you might sail with Luffy, you know, but like but like in terms of, like actually like doing illegal things, I'll be in Minecraft. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, okay. I was making sure we're on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tasha. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's gonna be goaded something. for sure. I'm watching it. I'm watching it now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, what's next? What we got next for the for the gang of lanches? Um, right. we got uh I don't even know what that says. The familiar zero. I'm not familiar with oh, like, fuck that is. I thought it was like re zero. I was about to get really excited for a second. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
Uh, so yeah, I think that's potential trash, uh, my brother. Uh, let me see. Damn. It's it's called familiar zero because zero of us because zero of us are familiar. With yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Next, we got another 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 sizable encounter. Pause. We have the faraway paladin. Ooh. Mm, a faraway paladin. The faraway paladin. Good nope. one. Huh? He said no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so I love said, Paladin, I love it. Okay, okay. Did you finish? You finished season one? I think season two is coming out right now, actually. Yeah, I did finish season one. Okay. So I didn't I even know this had an anime. Like I read like really? a long time ago, uh, oh, like sure. a bit of it, but I ne- I didn't even know this had an anime. That's crazy. No, Far Away Paladin, I loved, bro. I loved it. That was a really good anime. The back main when I was like is very likable. Yeah, back when I was like deep into light novels, I read a bit of it, and uh, it was pretty good. But I, I literally did not. I, I can't speak on the anime. Okay. Okay. Well, what did you think of the light novel? You, you thought it was good. How how far did you get in the light novel? Because we, we could just count it. We can. I mean, it's, it's the same. It's the same material, really. So. I mean, I would say actually good. Like, uh, it's. Okay. Yeah, I, I wouldn't it. say like. Yeah, I wouldn't say like Mushiko Tensei no, <laughs> or like no. like like a. There's you know, no way, like, in my opinion, though. There's no way you can call it mid. It's a, it's like it's, yeah. It's, uh, I agree. It's yeah. definitely above mid. Oh my god, she's so bad. Wait, is oh I think we are missing one. Fucking damn it. Um, I'll, I'll double check that though, but I think we might be. Um, anyways, but the Faraway Paladin, I liked it actually. I've seen like the first eight episodes. I didn't end up finishing it, but from what I saw, it definitely had potential to be good. Like, I had potential to be good. First episodes I saw were actually good. I would say I enjoyed. It. I thought the storyline was well done, well thought out. At first, it seemed like it might not really be like hidden like that, but then as it built on itself, it definitely grew. So I think, I think, yeah, it did definitely, it definitely had, had potential to be be a very good. <laughs> Alex, that potentially be a very good anime overall. So I think in terms of East Coast standards, it's got to go naturally good. So I would agree. I would agree. I think we stick it over there. Um, yeah, my main uh, my main bit of hesitation to like firmly say it's actually good is like I don't know like a lot of the times with light novels when they get an anime, it, the anime is like a commercial and it doesn't even show you like a fraction of what of the actual source material. So I'll have to check out the anime, but uh, yeah, it was pretty good from what I read. All right, all right. Um, <clears throat> right ne- next we have a uh, gate. Oh gate. man. Uh, no, the highest the highest this can go is mid he, he said the highest said, this can go is mid he said gate That's, and then he was trying to read the rest of it and he realized he couldn't so then he just repeated gate <laughs> no so like do you guys know about gate because this is this is uh this is just a really funny so yeah. it's actual jsdf propaganda like the japanese special force uh special defense oh shit, like, really? force actually put this out it's like literally like a gate opens up and like there's like dragons and goblins and shit and they take out dragons with apache helicopters and tanks that's awesome wow. holy shit no so like it's interesting it's not like i wouldn't say it's like actually bad but it was pretty boring for me like seeing like high fantasy shit with no actual power system and they're just like the army will save us it just it the highest this can go is mid for me i'm gonna be real Mm. Mm. i could see that getting very repetitive there's not a single notable character that i remember from it uh and like the coolest thing was like literally just seeing dragons fight like the army and like yeah i guess that's cool if you're like playing with like toys in the bathtub or something like that but like uh, it's it it, it's not something that like really like blew me away or anything right (laughs) (laughs) no for real like if you got like a little toy helicopter and a toy dragon and you're like and you know you're just like like blowing shit up in the like oh, fine can... cool but it's like it's not like what i would consider like a good isekai like it, the highest it can be is mid and i think that's me being generous but i don't know if i'd say it's like actually bad i bet i got you i got you so, so you say it goes in mid okay um tier list actually got updated too by the way which is kind of fire so yeah all right uh okay all right you lying? okay so gate so gate goes into mid um, Share your screen and do that yeah i'm working on it i had to i had to <laughs> Uh, I, didn't, I didn't want to like you know because we may not i guess we could have blurred it if there was something said, crazy that came up he said it like his angry six he said show your screen come on <laughs> <laughs> all right all right gate gate straight into mid um yeah. next we have Gr- grimgar fantasy of ash i believe that is that um, is actually yes. really good like really good right i would uh, say maybe move and say like it's really good oh wow wow well, i've seen six episodes of this and i liked it however it just didn't like pique my interest enough to continue it because i was watching it for work so like i, I was watching because of that work. once i got enough to like write like a script on it like i stopped i stopped watching to be honest but it is something i do plan to continue eventually i thought i thought it was good like the the one the thing i liked about this i'm sure vex could could uh attest like the realism of this isekai absolutely like, is, is yeah. crazy real like it's almost like okay if, if you were actually trying 
transported into a, a world like this, this is probably how it will go. You're most likely not going to be overpowered. You're most likely going to be struggling, working just for pennies on the dollar just to eat. You know what I'm saying? You might die easily. You know what I'm saying? Like Shit like goes down in this show to make it super realistic. And I think it's really good. The characters are great as well. Um, There's actually more of a plot to it, like with like some type of amnesia kind of thing going on. Um, yeah, so there's well. a lot of different yeah. tropes that they represent pretty well yeah. in here. And like my main thing is that like it is very harsh. Like it is, it is, you get to see like some real, like gritty moments that you might, other lesser isekai might, uh, gloss over or completely right. just ignore. Uh, it's, it's absolutely worth finishing. I would say it's, I would say actually okay. good. I don't know if I could put it in top tier, right. but it is, it's really good. Uh, my thing is I actually, I haven't rewatched it. I haven't seen this in like okay. over five years or some shit. So it's That's been a fair. while. That's fair. Okay. Actually good. Fair enough. Potential to be Michelle Goutent say if it was, you know, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I could see it if it was like done. The end did did the actual uh the end of the seat the end of the season was that like the end of the story entirely or was there like more to it? No, there's more the to end? like the okay. like, like it's like a commercial, which is my main beef with a oh, lot of these. Oh, okay, okay, fair, fair. So then they're probably not gonna make a season two then, I guess at this point. That or they'll do like no game, no life, and wait like ten more years or something, you know? Like right. Right. All right. Well, okay. Fair enough. Then. All right. No one else has seen Grimgar, right? I want to like gloss over. Grimgar. Okay. All right. Next we have oh, 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 the one and only Inukai Sans Dog, which I don't even think is actually an isekai, but I'm here for it. River loves it. River, don't you? Yeah. For some reason, River loves the show. I do not. 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 Bro, you gave it like the most grand entrance out of every other one, even with Goku Tensei. So like, okay. I don't know, about you, but context clues, like, bro, come on now. Okay, let, let me go ahead and give a little bit of context. No, nope, sorry, we talked about this pod a few times. The reason it it, it somewhat has like a, a special uh, place, in a my special mind, place in your in your heart, yeah, for sure. No, not heart, like in my mind. I don't know if I can say heart. Um. <laughs> Aww. It's because like it's an anime dojo <laughs> channel. It's like a Aww. meme we have <laughs> that like I don't even know what was said. But anyways, <laughs> um, there's like a meme we have like the uh, Astro. He'll like include some type of Inukai Sun's dog in every like in the edit of every single video. It's like in every video he does, there's some like type of dog in the video, Astro. some type of edit related to Inukai Sun's dog, oh, no, which is always funny to like spot the uh, Easter egg. Mm -hmm. So if you guys do watch the anime dojo, then. You see that so it's just funny and then also you know there's the whole thing where i was forced to watch an episode against my will i didn't want to watch did it they, like, I was tie you down to... when you say you forced they did they, they in fact tied me down it was uh, uh my guys caleb and, and kt man they tied me down at the couch and uh, i had Ooh. no choice they, hey, turned it on. They, they even did the Ooh. little things like when they keep your eyes open like this like i couldn't even blink like it was like i had no choice it was like basically like they were trying to torture me i don't know why they were like river it's for a video river it's for a video and i was like i don't want to watch this like please like stop like i don't i don't i don't your face this is gonna scar me five like all playing it and they were like okay let's go watch it together on the couch and i was like no don't but i, I couldn't go anywhere because i couldn't escape because you know, you know i was staying at the house at the time i had no there was nothing i could do and you know it's it, it, to this day i just i'll never be able to recover you know each time i tell the story it gets worse and worse because memories start to come back that i've been hiding in my head you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying i've been barricading them down day. but the memories start to come back you know oh. this is you know it's very it's very uh scarring it's trauma. Day, Everybody, I just want to say he's fucking lying and he's full of crap. <laughs> Let's go just go rank go this. Let's just rank this right now and watch watch him just put it in Mishoku Tensei. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> Uh, so has I'm anyone up. else watched any of this show? Oh, no. I haven't watched it, but isn't it like like it's super fucked up? Yeah, it's not an isekai, right? Like he gets it's, like it's reborn really as a not. dog, like yeah, in the same world, right? Like yeah, in the same yeah. world. I'm a dog. Um, I, it's just Archie being Archie. He wanted to put it in here, so he did. <laughs> um, you know, for the memes, I guess, or whatever the hell. But just imagine, say, imagine yeah. the most vulgar, you Don't know, a person being reincarnated as a dog, right? And then imagine the most vulgar scenarios that could possibly happen and that's this show give or take uh you know what i'm saying so um, i'm gonna yeah. say in, in the spirit in the spirit of archie i'm gonna say mushoku tensei wow uh apparently there's a scene in the manga i heard from giga because i watched this video on it spoilers um, spoilers 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 you know like how certain you know when animals like born they have to like feed on milk or whatever so oh, like oh my god ain't no way um yourself. ain't no way bro so appa apparently that happened and 
Also, really? apparently, like, they're having, like, a contest to, like, oh, like, come here, come to me to type shit. And then, like, you know, and then I'm sure that led to, I'm pretty sure that led to other, you know, things that, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to really discuss. But, um, you know, so it's just terrible. Um, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you know, they're basically competing for the dog to, you know. Did you finish the fantasies well, about being a dog? Apparently, like, they're all, like, trying to get the dog, like, romantic stuff with the dog. Anyways, man, uh, it's even crazy in the anime as well from the, fir- from the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> going. He said even yeah, crazier. And no, and no, 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 no. You know what, man? It's like, the thing is, like, I know people who continued this anime. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> KT. And watch the whole thing. <laughs> and watch the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And we're like, you know what? This actually has a plot to it. And kept watching. That's funny, that's funny. <laughs> KT, porn, I'm calling you out. <laughs> that's why. Oh, man. Anyways, swear, man. We're rating this. Uh, we're rating this. I'm actually okay. upset that this got a season and so many other things that I like have never gotten a season two. Yeah, no, I'm no, actually no. upset. <laughs> I mean, it can't it can't go high. Bad, like actually bad vending machine. I feel like it's like worse though. Like I, I think that doesn't. I think it's verify. fine at like the bottom of vending machine. Like bottom of vending machine. Like yeah, like like. But like I feel like know. it's like a tier below vending machine. Like I just don't even like. You're like, I don't want to insult the vending machine. Anyway. Yeah, facts. I don't want to insult the vending machine. You see <laughs> First of all, whoever made this manga needs to like be put some like needs to be put in some type of asylum. And second of all, whoever decided to make this anime, what is wrong with you? Like what? Like you read the manga and were like, yeah, we need this as an anime. They're like, yeah, this will sell. Know. This, this yeah, will the, yeah, this will sell. Yeah, right. Facts. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm just saying, Absolutely. Japan is Japan. Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm saying, bro. That is um, crazy, dude. Anyways, man, we got we got Inuyasha. We got Inuyasha. I haven't actually Mid. seen Inuyasha. Mid. Mid. I really? I what? lived I lived in Uyasha and like I was I was, I'm old and I was seeing it as it was like posted weekly. I would I would say mid fairly what? passionately. I wouldn't say it's bad, but there's no way it's actually good. I cannot tell you how many lady friends back in middle school and high school were absolutely obsessed with this and outside of the what is it the third outro song? So much of this has completely left my mind and then I went back and tried to rewatch it and I'm just like, "What?" is this like i think i repressed it like it's I'm, I'm being generous saying that it's definitely mid and not actually bad okay so i've heard yeah because when you said middle school high school uh girls like i definitely like growing up i definitely heard a lot about this more because it's it's isn't it like more of a romantic like yeah there's uh, a bunch of like it's 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 not even like a good romance though it's like romance that uh, middle school girls are all into which is not usually good not real <laughs> so, yeah nah yeah okay yeah, but but you gotta real. give but you gotta give it to the fans though if the fans are going crazy over this so you gotta give it to the fans there's a reason why like they like it i'm gonna go based off of all the like endless reviews i've heard like i've never seen it i have maybe seen like one or two episodes but that was like scattered throughout like middle of the season type stuff so i've never really like mm. sat down and watched it and analyzed it there are some fight scenes and you know dude with the fucking sword cat ears like i, I don't know i thought he looked pretty badass but just just based off of how everybody talks about it, I'm gonna say that yeah, I don't know. Actually There's a good reason why it Yashahime took like damn near 20 years for them to like pump out, and it didn't even get like very well received. Like it's oh man, I okay. can't say it's okay. good. I mean, if you do, you you do you. But like I'm saying, I'm say, I don't I'm believe say, the hype. Just because I never I never like really got into it. I'm gonna say it's mid, just because from what I've seen and based off the reviews. Okay. And you're right, like it's been pumping out, but nothing's really been tracking. So it's got to be that makes sense. I, I'm taking. Yeah, don't over. believe. Don't believe the hype from middle school girls. I'm saying like I did and I regret it. Like I, I'll never get that time back. <laughs> Man, there, there, there's people that we've had on a pod that would be very upset with you with saying that. Uh, definitely like Tyler. Tyler loves that eating Asha. Who else? Loves it? Like bro, he top. Ty- yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, there I were, Tyler, like, a I few... Tyler, damn near... Oh, go ahead, go. Yeah, there were a few good characters and things like that, but, like, as a whole, in general, mm, it's, it's it's pretty mid, man. I think mid was made with this in mind. Like, it's it's, it's crazy to me. Like, and, like I know people... No, in this top 10, bro. Like, in this top hold 10. on. Like, I'm 100% serious. I know people who have Inuyasha and Sashomaru body pillows, bro. Like, oh, it's like that when it comes to the hype, and I it's, it's not actually like that when it comes to the quality though 
All right, let's go ahead and throw that. Alex, you haven't seen it, right? You wait. You were probably watching it when it came out, though, Alex. You call me old, you bitch. <laughs> Damn. Damn. There he goes again, beating on. But no, I will say if. If you guys haven't heard the third <laughs> outro for Inuyasha, that song slaps. That song is so freaking good, but He's that's like the best dying. thing about he, it. He, 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 I'm I, mean, I, need, I, need, I need to respect the, I need to respect the elderly more. I, I, Damn, I, there he goes again, <laughs> beating on a minority. Oh Typical white man activities. <laughs> Dylan, you're a bitch. Okay. Um, just to, uh, you know, so I don't get too much uh, <laughs> I about you suck my fat cock, River. <laughs> I, I had Damn. to do that, bro. They, they, they were Damn. saying too much to me. Bro to is name. back I mean... from the dead. That's wild. <laughs> okay, back from the dead. This is... <laughs> uh, man, you got reincarnated. Uh, oh, this is Vex. A... <laughs> Reincarnated as an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this is Vex's favorite hey. uh, Isekai Quartet, right? Um, I don't know if it's my favorite, but what I will say is it's actually a lot more quality than I ever thought it would be going into it. I thought it was going to be so cringe. I thought that I would like hard nope out of it and i was actually excited when i heard there was going to be more of it like it's it's actually solid and i like all of the four like that it's based off of like the saga of tanya the evil is fantastic re-zero is my shit konosuba is my shit like I, i'm a big fan of uh, like and i mean overlord is is overlord i mean like it's 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 got a lot of the, it has the same voice acting cast with, like for the dub which i'm like a huge fan of it was it's like the closest i think i'll ever get to a season two for saga of tanya the evil or whatever it's like it it's okay. it's really solid like i liked some of the interactions okay. and some of the writing in between some of the tertiary characters was brilliant like like seeing eins and like aqua vibe because he's like a like an elder lich type of thing and she's like a like a high priestess who can like turn undead and stuff like like it's it's really crazy and it broke power scaling it absolutely broke power scaling <laughs> and i was so here for it i trolled all over the comment section <laughs> it was so fun but it really it's a, it's worth a watch i don't know if i could say that it's like actually good but i want to i really do so want pro to. so probably mid realistically i would say like top of mid top that's for mid, me though okay. yeah okay top of mid okay um next uh this is um knights and magic no idea yeah i have no idea um so trash. if yeah i was thinking potential trash sounds like magic. if i had to guess it might have something to do with knights and maybe magic right that's i mean to be honest i was thinking maybe <laughs> magic and knights but that i was just me i don't know oh shut up <laughs> bro all right, <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and throw this one if I get potential trash. Next, uh, Dylan, we may have to summon you for this one. We have Konosuba. Konosuba. You know, Dylan, if you're still here, I think this is your, your another one of your things to talk about. Dylan! Dylan! Shut up, River. You're too loud. Dylan! <laughs> he sounds like a, Dylan. Like a disappointed parent. Dylan! Dad. Damn, I mean, like, I'll just show. say it right now. This is absolutely Mushiko Tensei tier. Top yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. This is one of my top three absolute favorite fantastic. Isekai of all time. It's a fantastic comedy, in my opinion. Yeah. So much more than that, though. Because, like, when you really look into, like, all of the things that they did production-wise, and, like, yeah, like, satire is my favorite kind of comedy. But this was right. far and away, like, is actually good world-building, actual good story, and, like, the all of the things that... so fun, dude. The characters. Yeah. And, like, how it all happens. Like, how he basically breaks the system. That's that's the first episode and shit of Konosuba. He breaks like the isekai system where he's like, "What? You can bring one thing with you." And he's like, "All right, I'm bringing your ass." And then somebody, and then somebody. <laughs> and one of the best so. pilots I've Dude, ever seen. It it's okay. It didn't even hit. It wasn't yeah, even a truck. It was like a That's tractor. Funny, so. Yeah. That's I would actually say like Konosuba has got to go above. Uh, like I would put it in like literally like the top. Like there, I think there's probably only like one thing I would put above it. Like I'm, I'm being completely honest. It's probably wow. my second favorite of all these guy. It's so good. Dylan, thoughts? I don't know if Konosuba beats Mishoku personally. Maybe Eminence because Eminence is not as developed right now. Okay. But I don't think it beats Mishoku personally. No. I'm willing to accept that for sure. I personally put it above it, but uh, quality-wise, Mushko is just... It, it had a, an advantage of being released way later. It's a passion project from a lot of different animators and yeah. things like that, whereas Konosuba was like... I don't think it was really ever planning on getting an anime, and then it yeah. did, and they were just like, oh, shit, we gotta do this. Like, <laughs> So to translate that, translate that, Dylan said, fuck your opinion, it's not better than Mushoku Tensei. And Vex, and Vex replied with, no, fuck you, because yes, it is. So, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so translation. Uh, translation. Y'all gotta. Y'all gotta duke it out. Y'all gotta duke it. I'm sorry. You guys have to. You guys are gonna have to. Uh, but um. I don't know if he's in fighting form. I'm <laughs> not in fighting form. Uh, no. Yeah. I am we got... hoping that when I lay down in my bed, I don't wake up in the morning. That's how I'm feeling yeah. right oh, now. Gosh. You're gonna um, get reincarnated as like a. <laughs> I'll, I'll... Reincarnated yeah. as a fucking sword. I think that's an anime already. I will literally. Is, yeah. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. I'll literally send someone to your house right now to wake you up with head in GTA. Dude, yeah. head, would, head would not work, bro. Head would not work, oh, bro. Gosh, so you're, you. you're, that's bad. That's bad. Look, bro, I don't want head right now, bro. Wow. <laughs> Sit it over here. Sit it over here. <laughs> no. All right, no no game, no life is next. Okay, I haven't, I haven't seen this one either. So. Oh. Yeah. That sounds better, better. Better than we show Tensei. Actually, actually. I, I don't know, know about that. that. I didn't know that was uh, on that list. So like the show came out, I think it's two, but I saw it in order and I was like, damn, like I actually could have screwed it up for myself if I saw it. You really this. wouldn't have messed too much up though because the movie is uh, like almost completely removed except for like one or two scenes from like the events of season one. It's like, you know, obviously it's a lot of backstory. I won't spoil anything because River, you absolutely need to watch it. It's, I'm just going to say right now, my, it's probably in my top three favorite anime movies of all time. Oh, yes. shit, okay, okay. It's yeah. really good. And then the season one is just really great. Like, it's it's like a uh, they get dumped into a world unlike anything I've ever seen. It's, like, extremely vivid and, like, almost, like, shocking, like, how bright some of these colors are and, like, the, the world building Whoa. is, like, so absurd. Like, even beyond the level of, like, One Piece, it's impossible realities because, like, the, the rules of this world have been rewritten to where everything's a game. Dude, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's so good. And so, it's literally, so every Everything is a game. Like if you cross the street and like do it wrong, like there's like a mini game. Damn. And shit. It, it's no, it, it's so good. It is phenomenal. And like I was like, how did this all happen? And like it left me with so many questions. And then when yep. you watch the movie, you actually get to see so much. It pays off on. Oh, dude, it it is fantastic. Bro. There are some like creepy moments though, but I mean, oh, yeah, I've heard that yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, why, that's how I feel. Yeah. Like I, I haven't watched. This is not an isekai, but I haven't watched the irregular at. Uh, yeah. fucking, I haven't watched the irregular at Magic Kai, Whatever it is, it's been so long. I don't. I'm not. I can't even remember the name right now, bro. I feel like such shit. But that show, the irregular. I haven't watched the movie for that one, and it's supposed to do a lot of explaining. There's a movie. Damn, yeah, I need to watch the movie. Yep. No, but he's he's right. There's a lot of good stuff in there. It, and, uh, it revolves Jibriel, a lot. Yeah, Jibriel is best girl. Absolutely phenomenal character. Which one? Which uh, one was that one? The, she's the like the angel or whatever. They're not. Oh called yeah. Angels. Yeah, home girl is the best girl in the whole verse. I I stand this shit out of her, bro. It, it, she is great. <laughs> Uh, Tasha. Tasha. Uh, we should probably get a little bit faster because we do have a few more here. Um, Outbreak. I don't know that one. Does anyone know that one? Nope. No. No. Uh, put down one fucking potential track. That shit probably ass. All right. Uh, Overlord. Uh, uh, either it. it's it's Mashoku or actually good. Actually good. I would say actually good. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Mashoku. Okay, my main two, beef two. with is that two. Yeah. Two? My main beef with the anime is like it's a commercial. There's so much more when you read it, and you miss out on so much if you only watch the anime. I think the anime is very good, but I can't put it in Mushoku tier because specifically it misses on so many things that you like could get if you read it. And even that is like a commercial because it's originally based on a D and D campaign. So like oh. so much of the magic is lost in translation between two is different it, switch is materials. Is it based on Maki? I don't even remember the name of it, but I know that like it was like a like the writer like held like a like a D and D campaign for like years, and then oh, like sure. he ended up writing a story about it, and then that story ended up getting an anime. So it's like there's just like it's like when you eat food, you only get like ten percent of the nutrients and shit like that. Like there's just some mm. things that are just lost in translation along the way. Um, it is actually really good, but I can't say that it's Mushko tier. Wait, so the backstory is that this is all based off of the last friend who kept going. Damn, that's so sad. Bro, he just, what do you mean? He just said that it, it was about the longest standing D&D campaign eventually got turned into a book and then to the anime. That's what Overlord is based off, of, right? Isn't that what you're saying? Well, it's based off of that, but like the, the premise is like he was in an MMO and he like, he was like basically like the last dude who was actually still playing on the servers of the MMO. And like when it went to shut down, he gets like pulled into it. All right, I'll say actually, I'll say actually good. Okay. Just because it's like how you said, uh, it's lo like a lot of it's lost in translations. 
because I want it to be like I want to see that next year. Uh, Restaurant Another World. I haven't seen it, but I, I know what that sounds like. Me, it sounds like bad. Yeah, I, I say we yeah, thought like, I'm a fucking potential trash. That sounds, that sounds like a vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah it, i feel like we need something to go in bad you know bad tier oh put it in bad okay but have you has anyone seen it i mean you there, there might be one or two of these that go in bad if not with we'll oh, it, it's hard, it's hard okay. because like there's a lot of isekais out there that aren't bad it's hard to put it in actually bad. i feel like we've probably only seen most of the ones that are actually considered like decent like i yeah. doubt we go out of our way to watch bad isekai like no one really want like I like what Vex was saying earlier about the three episode rule. I I don't think I've heard of that, so I'm gonna try it. Hey, 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 hey! What what is this? Does anyone hold know on. what the fuck this is? Hold on, hold What's on. Stay away from my fucking button. I don't even know. I don't know what that Remember, is. You can't read or something or what? Yeah, what it's the just hell, in dude? Japanese. It's Wise Man's Grandchild. Oh, Wise Man's Ooh. Grandchild. Okay. Damn, Dylan knows Japanese. So, That's in my crazy. opinion, in my opinion, right? <laughs> hey, that, Wise you... Man's Grandchild was one of the first isekai that I watched. Right. And I will say this, right? Wise Man's Grandchild is a very stereotypical isekai. So like, very. And no, I loved it personally. That, I loved yeah, it. Yeah, Truck Coon. You got to give it to anything with Truck Coon, right? What's that? The truck Coon. What's that? Truck coon. The truck that runs everyone over that tra- oh. teleports them into it. Because <laughs> like, yeah. that happens yeah. so much, you yeah, know, like. Yeah. No, it, but you this, gotta love uh, truck coon. Yeah. This, this one, like I said, it's very stereotypical. Like the plot line is very. I don't know how to say it, but it's like it's very straightforward and things happen very quickly. But I honestly think it's because it's almost the same thing as what Vexy's been saying. Like they only had one season and then the indefinite hiatus and it left on a cliffhanger. So they were for they basically want people to go read the stuff. Like it, it's like basically like a commercial kind of how he's been saying. So that's why I was so bummed about it because I wanted more of Wise Man's Grandchild animated. But they're not going to because they just want you to go to the source material. But in my opinion, I think it was actually good. So right, actually good. Rate, rate, give it a good rating. Good. Because there was another anime that came out called The Strongest Sage with the Weakest Crest. And mm. uh, that was literally a copy paste of Wise Man's Grandchild. Like it was, paste. it's wild how literally if you were to watch them, you'd be like, no shit, this is dumb. Like this, they literally like watched Wise Man's Grandchild and were like, we're going to change a few things. And you call know what? Him. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they were like. That's exactly that's what they my, were like. That's my main beef with things that are like formulaic. Like they went kind of by the book and that's like why shows like that really don't get season twos or even a full season one sometimes yeah i haven't seen it but from like what i heard about it i would probably put it in mid but you've seen it so i'm gonna take your word for it i see why people would put it in mid but personally i like if i'm watching an action show i try to find or like i try to find occasionally like like i like to have a little bit of romance in it for for wise man's grandchild had like 12 episodes maybe 24 i don't even know if it was that long but they they rushed the romance part like he was able like they basically got him like they rushed it so that there was a little bit of it in that anime and i personally i like that because it was like we know this anime isn't that long and we want this element to be in there and like oh okay so this is what i will say for wise man's grandchild the power system i found super super unique like this is this is not unique but this is um just interesting right so Mm. the reason why i like the power system in it is so it's all about like magic and shit like that right and like the whole thing with magic is like visualizing it like you have to visualize the flame coming out of your hand he visualizes it differently because he came from a past world like so, like he came from the modern world so instead of where these people are thinking of they're like okay i'm gonna uh, make fire so he is thinking like okay i'm gonna make oxygen uh, molecules combust and do, using this reaction in this way and he visualizes that and it makes his pa- his uh, magic like so much more powerful because he's literally visualizing the process of the specific things that are happening and because like these people don't know what oxygen mo- mo- molecules are like they don't they don't know this shit because it's a fantasy world they don't have science like that so he's sitting here and he's visualizing like the actual process it takes to create fire and it makes his abilities like cracked because he ha- thinks differently than everybody in the world so it's not that he's just like straight built different it's just no, that he has no. knowledge that they don't yeah, yeah. that's why like that. that's that's why he was overpowered like that's what made him overpowered is because he had the knowledge 
from his past life, he translated into the new one in a specific way, like, and he is a very, like, he's a very smart main character because he finds ways to combine spells and make them more powerful. He takes, like, a, ba a basic, like, almost, like, blast cannon spell or whatever, and he finds a way to focus it, and it just, like, beams through mountains now. Dude, it's, like, dude, it's... It's pretty cool. Okay, all right. I might have to check it out. Yeah, that's interesting. I definitely, I'm sold on it. I'll give it the three episode test. Yeah. yeah. I like okay. it. Um, uh, Smartphone in Another World. I haven't seen it. I don't know if y'all seen it. Ass. That's um, one of the big boys. Pause. We got Re Zero. You feel me? Um, Re Zero. Actually, Let actually, just... actually good. Actually good. Actually good. You know what, man? No Say one, man. I put I'm it surprised. in Mushiko. I'd, I'd honestly put it in Mushiko Tensei tier. It's it is so fantastic, dude. It's like, good. Uh, I will give it that. It is a good show. I'm glad that I watched it. it. I do not think it's on the level of Mushoku because Mushoku Mushoku because I think it's a bit too repetitive. But yeah. I understand like that's his I that's agree. his power. His power is like kind of like a repetition kind of thing where it's like a save restart. I get that. But if you're gonna have that concept, you have to have a way that makes it feel like it's not repetitive yeah but for me it felt like it was like i was i was like like okay cool like that's why i'm saying it's actually good but it's nowhere near mishoku tensei because the repetition part of it i feel like they can rely too heavily on that i see the 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 point that you're making and i think like that's the that that's absolutely part of like uh subaru's development is that he is kind of ramming his head against a wall and it is absolutely you know taking the life out of him time and time again and it's later on that he actually figures out that he could take different approaches and utilize this information from past lives and things like that and um the expanding like it, it it almost like exponentially like amplifies the amount of emotion that you have when certain events take place like i have never had such a visceral reaction to certain plot twists it, it, like outside of like like you know i talked with you guys when i had y'all on tla about like steins gate and stuff like that this was literally my stomach was doing backflips watching this i actually like choked up i didn't actually cry because i'm like a monster i guess but like this was <laughs> one of the <laughs> most emotionally evocative pieces of media i've ever watched in anime in any tv online? i have yes so it, you've seen alicization i have and oh, i love alicization no i absolutely love alicization <laughs> <laughs> and we talked about it a good bit, but like yeah, uh, Re Zero, I put above it. I'm gonna be 100% real. I can't, bro. I cannot do that. For me, Re Zero was good. I think the repetition, like Dylan said, definitely played a role. I thought at points it got kind of boring. I'm kind of surprised because to me, most people act like like Re Zero probably Mashoku's here. I think it's overrated because of that. Because I think actually good is a good placement. It's not that level, but it's it's good. So I'm with them and each of them. I think we're kind of on the same page. Vex is kind of the only one that is. Yeah. You know, I have to say I'm a little bit biased also okay. because I've read a lot ahead. I know. Uh, a lot more of the yeah. the, the okay. payoffs that are that they're working up towards i am I'm absolutely on the edge of my seat for more of it to be animated okay. because i think they did a really good job with season two it was phenomenal some of my favorite characters a fantastic like amount of world building like with the political succession and like uh like with uh like okay. learning about as well learning about like like some of these figures that are just so many worlds above where subaru is and then seeing him claw his way to the middle like he doesn't even get to the top like uh, like uh, with anything that we've seen so far and it's just it is actually painful to watch like certain scenes but in like the best way like i i really okay. i really free zero Okay, well, we gotta put in actually good. I think that's fair. Um, hopefully, Vex, you aren't too upset about that. But I mean, yeah. Alex, have you have you seen Re Zero? No, I have not seen Re Zero. Okay. I need to watch it though. Gotcha, gotcha. It's, it's super good. I'm just saying, Ooh. like, brace yourself. I is, have not seen Shield Hero 3. So I'm going to go based Shield off Hero, of yeah. Shield Hero. I have not seen the third season of Shield Hero yet. I don't From like what it. I've heard about the third season of Shield Hero, it's supposed to be like a re it's like redemption basically for the show. Because everybody who watched shield hero season one in my opinion gas awesome moments i am a big fan of like rage powers and shit so when he yeah. like rages off and shit like it's you know, i loved it right season two hits and i almost blew my brains out in gta like it was wait a... remind me was season two the turtle the fucking turtle <laughs> oh god, shit i haven't damn it i haven't I seen it. season <laughs> two oh god damn. Bro. watch it bro Don't it came out uh, where, where are we putting it bro like uh -huh. i sound like dylan i don't want to talk about it no more <laughs> not, not 
not not after we brought Turtle up. Just fuck, bro. Put it that say, oh, this is what this is what makes me mad. This is what makes me mad. Mid. Shield Hero season one was so fucking good, but because yeah. of season two, I can't say that it's actually good. See, like I my... have to put it at mid because season two was so bad it outweighed I... season one. Can I comment? My on thing that? is is that season one I didn't think was really good. I thought it was good. But season one mm. was it wasn't anything like crazy, crazy that I hadn't really seen done before except for the first episode it was like, the first time a show i think you said this as well actually when we were talking i think we talked about this on the on the pod po possibly as well that we were on with you it was the first show that actually made me truly like hate a character like uh -huh. before i even saw gabby or anything like that bro like i hated the yeah. fuck out of that fucking multi not multi the fucking mine uh, mine fucking yeah that bitch fucking <laughs> oh my god oh and wait, oh, isn't her name god. Is, doesn't her name become bitch? Yes, her yes. name is yes. bitch now. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. bro. Shield, bitch and the, the Shield hero basically, to not spoiling much, Shield hero basically stopped an execution and for stopping the execution and saving their lives, he got to choose their new names. Yeah, I mean the whole oh, like resolution at the end just felt really shallow for me. Definitely not cool one? with season one. Yeah, like I I, I like can't speak. I can't speak too much on season two because I never finished it and I won't. Good, and don't, I definitely don't. can't speak anything on season three. But season one, I will say it was good. But I would say it was good leaning on mid. I wouldn't say it was like really good in my opinion. There were things that I liked about it, but there were there were things that I was like, I've just seen this done better in other anime and things like that. And specifically, I did not like Raftalia's introduction or any of her character development. Specifically, really? yeah. And then like the get back wasn't, it's just, it's it didn't seem feasible and then they felt like they kind of like ass pulled like, to make it make sense like to me like you know with, with her like uh, conveniently leveling up and not only does she have like a more mental development even though she's still like a four-year-old but she also gets tits and i'm just like all right i don't need this like uh, her character did turn out to be cool like i guess but i wasn't like very compelled I... by their interactions yeah. there was like certain power-ups that he got like I, like the, the rage thing i liked but like other power-ups that he got i was just like this is this is just campy See, like this this was like very try hard to me i i get it i i definitely get what you're saying but in my opinion like the way i saw it like her like growing up and like maturing like that kind of how like nezuko did in like the flash moment in demon slayer and shit like that's her like power or whatever power or whatever in my opinion like the whole thing is that he's seeing this as basically like a video game and so when she fucking when she levels up it's almost like in pokemon you like she she is half animal like she are like she is part animal like yeah she's, she's, like, a, she's demi -human. a demi human yeah. she's a demi human so i thought of it i was like oh she basically just evolved like that's it like that's she evolved to the next form yeah, no, and I get that. It's just it didn't feel like it. It felt like a bit of an ass pull to me. Like this is a this is a bit of like a Deus Ex Machina like convenience thing that we have to insert right here so that we can loot the crap out of her. And I was like, ah, I don't know, man. Like it didn't feel it didn't feel like that entire dynamic between the two of them was done great, but it was good. Like I'm not saying it's a bad anime like uh, from season one. I'm just saying I couldn't say it was really really good. I would just say it's good. But then accounting for everything that I saw in season two, and I don't even know like what all goes, I would say this is mid at best, in my opinion. Good plus turtle equals I mean, mid. I'm fine with putting it in mid. Like yeah. I said, I cannot say that it's good because if I were to put it in good and that includes the second season, I'd be lying. Yeah. Right. No, I feel like. Uh, uh, anyone seen Sony Boy? I I've heard it was good, but I haven't seen it. I have not seen it. I have not seen it. Nope. It feels weird putting out potential trash, but you know, it could be trash. Sure. It could be. Um, yeah. Oh, what, was it? what was it? Sonny Boy. Sonny Boy. Oh, yeah. Sonny Boy. It's trash, oh, just like River's sense of respect. <laughs> That's damn. But anyways, we got soda online, man. We got soda online. We bro. So we we so soda. Sao, not the little one. You feel me? Sao is Mushoku. The big the one, never the little Mushoku, one. Mushoku, please. Mushoku. I want to say something, but I don't want to make it. So go ahead, go ahead. Sao is like. No, no, I, I wanted to say this earlier. So Shield Hero became SAO, where first seasons were dope, and then you get to the second season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the second season shits on them. And so then they're going to make a third season to try to redeem, redeem it. But damn, that, like, that shit was funny as fuck. When you said there was a Shield Hero third season, I was like, oh, damn, now I got to finish season two. Because I do want to see... 
Two. Don't you let, can't don't just watch the bad skip shit. over a whole season. Yeah. Fuck it. Dude, fuck like, that. Bro. Dude, that was it was actual pain watching that show. I'm gonna come out the room after binge watching season Dude, two. Dude, l- like... I, I will let me let me tell you the plot to season two real quick. You ready? No, we don't need here, here it. we go. Here we go. This is the plot to season two. Oh no, <laughs> big more. turtle. Let me kill turtle. Boom. <laughs> turtle dead. Oh uh... no, turtle getting back up. Let me kill turtle. <laughs> Boom. Turtle dead. Oh no. Turtle's getting back up. Why is it getting back up? I'm a fine. Why is it getting back up? Oh my god. It's literally season two. <laughs> am I wrong? Hey man. Uh, you know. Next season, I guess. Yeah, that's you pretty know. much all I saw. Yeah. Exactly. I hate, I hate all of you. Anyways. Hey man. SAO. It sounds like SAO, you know what I'm saying? Go SAO. SAO. If I can I speak know. on SAO briefly, I'll try to keep go it ahead, brief. Because I know Dylan's very passionate about it. And yeah. I've heard of other gonna, people gonna putting get, it in the show. Too in depth. <laughs> I will put it in, ac- I would put it in actually good. Uh, but yeah. I would put it near the top. Like uh, probably above almost anything else we have in the actually good tier. But it, like the thing is, is that for me, it's like literally one of the first isekai I got into like way, way, way back in the day. Except for like things that I didn't know. When I didn't know what isekai was, like Digimon, right? Like, but, like this was so foundational for so many things but like as i went and rewatched through it like the first 13 episodes phenomenal not going to speak on season two uh <laughs> respectfully uh gun gale was cool yeah gun, gun gale was cool i, Wait, I liked okay. are it are we talking about alfheim when we say season two yes is that not season two technically no it is part two to season one okay well season the, two there we go gun gale Okay, so I like Gun Gale was amazing. for the yeah. most part. Okay, that, see, yeah. this is where this is where Shut I start up. disagreeing with everybody because I liked Alfheim and I did not like Gun Gale. Like this is where like every any time that I talk to somebody about Sao, this is where our viewpoints usually shift. Like I am one of the few people that liked Alfheim. There were weird moments for sure, but it was like here's the thing: I had watched a regular of Magic High School beforehand, so that mm-hmm. one is like okay. So like, how do I put this? In a regular of Magic High School, they allude to uh i'm gonna just say keeping the bloodline pure oh god they make fun of it to where essentially like katsuya shiba and whatever shiba they like uh miyuki shiba i think was whatever it is um people think they're related and i like in the anime it never explains their background that's what the movie's for like it literally says nothing about like what they like it kind of i think it kind of touches on it a little bit but the movie is what tells you like whether or not i think they're actually related or not like i cannot tell but like they uh they they allude to that a lot like in that show and everybody's like like the, the characters in the show are like this is so fucking weird because it's supposed to be funny because it never happens but it is alluded to a lot. And so because yeah. of that, and jokes are made about that a lot in that show. Like, in my opinion, that was one of, like, the humor points for me. Because I was like, bro, this is fucking funny. Like, there's no, like, bro, that's, the, I just saw it as funny. The thing with Alfheim is, to me, like, I get it, Japan is really repressed. Uh, and so some some creepy points will bleed in as, as pivotal plot moments. Down. That's my thing, though. It's like in, in fucking, uh, in what I was talking about. Like, they keep alluding to it and shit, but, like, Kirito, like, shuts it down. I don't know why there's controversy. Like That's not my whole controversy with it, though. For me, it felt like, yeah, there were the creepy moments, and that's not necessarily my biggest gripe with it, although it, it probably is. But, like, it, the thing is, is, like, to me, Alfheim felt like parts of the story I felt, like, so crestfallen from how high I felt like we had climbed in season one. I felt like it was tracking, and, I mean, I might have to rewatch through it based off of your glowing recommendation, but it's like gonna be weird for me and i just can't get like this chip off my shoulder that we it felt like we lost so much the reason that i there is like one moment in alfheim that i do not like maybe (laughs) a few maybe a few but i think i think it might be one or two but it's the fucking pentacle moment i hate it with a passion i wanted to blow my brains out i hated that in gta in gta um, bro it was it was bro it was oh god it was terrible i hated watching that and then what that perverted and freaked it like to her, i didn't her like her anything sister. involving his sister i literally didn't like anything involving his sister i felt like if she was <laughs> introduced was later it, no like honestly uh, like it was that like that i felt like she not, could have been written as a completely people. different character and i would have preferred it or she could have been like left out and written in at, like at a later point and i would have preferred that as well i just the writing to me felt on so many different levels and it's been years so i can't like i'm not it's not fresh in my mind but i just i do remember passionately how i felt watching alfheim and it was not 
it for me, bro. Alpine but it does uh, not like equate to season one by any means. It's definitely a serious drop off. Yeah. But personally, I still liked it. I didn't uh, love it, but I vibed with it. And then like you know, progressive was a thing, and I I have like mixed opinions about it as well. But like Alicization is what absolutely saved everything about that whole franchise yeah, for me. Alicization is the culmination so of it online, cool. and it will be one of my favorite arcs of all time forever. Yeah, like season one personally. had some of the coldest fights. Uh, Alice is a fantastic character like oh my yes. god and, and what like, at that point for. yeah at that point i was like kind of no no disrespect i was kind of mm. done with kirito i was yeah. just kind of done with kirito at that yeah. point and uh my boy yujo is is him alice is freaking her capital bro, h capital Yu-Gi-Oh, e capital r bro like, yujio is the reason i cry every time i watch alicization it's That's so good saying. yeah like it, it's season two move on because yeah we're yeah he's gonna keep going forever this. yeah yeah, yeah please um all right slime uh slime is probably gonna be good or bashoku I haven't actually seen good. it, but I know what it is. I'd say actually good. It did a lot of things right. It just, it was... Uh, That's like humor. a staple isekai. Yeah, the, the humor was just a little too, like, I don't know, like, on the nose for me in certain points. And certain plot points were just very convenient to me. It was really good. I love the world building more than any of the characters. But there were some really good characters. But the world building was phenomenal. Like, right. the power scaling was absolutely ridiculous. It was really hype. And I absolutely loved the Charybdis fight. That was so good. But I can't say that it's like Mushko tier. I can't. I bet. All right. Um, all right. That was a part timer. Uh, wonderful. Uh, she be at the uh, top. Uh, yeah. Mushoku. Mushoku. Oh, shit. I'm still watching through season two. Uh, but from season one alone, it's at the very minimum top of actually good. Wow. Okay, but so we, we got, I'm we like nine episodes. Yeah. I'm like nine episodes deep into season two, and it's definitely a change of pace, but I really like yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, it is. I fucking love it. I have, this is one that I have not seen yet. Uh, vending machine. Oh, I wonder where vending machine goes. Oh. Exactly. Uh, has has anyone actually yeah. watched it a little bit? No. no I got like the, I think I got like a Nuxtaku breakdown. Okay. Uh, and it sounded absolutely ridiculous. Like, it, right. was, it was insane. Right. Yeah. But which one are we finna put in bad? Because we ain't gonna put the next one in bad. What well, restaurant? Was I can go in bad and sit down off again bad. I'm cool with okay. that. All right, bet. <laughs> that shit. Okay, <laughs> it just looks a little more better. All right, next we have I got reincarnated as an arist. I got reincarnated. You can't read. World's finest assassin was reincarnated as, reincarnated as an aristocrat. The world's best assassin was reincarnated as an aristocrat. Dylan got it. Type shit. Hey, are you dumb? Yes. You dumbass. Yeah. I am. Um, but <laughs> this one's really good. Uh, yeah, I think. Except River hates one episode. Bro, it was just one episode has some bad, terrible animation to me. And even though I didn't see any terrible me, animation. I don't know. That was just maybe it was just me, but oh. I think God, it was just you. Me. I, I don't. I don't yeah, actually know anything about it. It's really good. It's good though. It's good. Again, it takes into play that fucking like using knowledge from your past life to gain advantage right. on your powers. Because this assassin, basically, what he does to kill this first big bad that's like invulnerable. Spoilers, by the way. Um, big baddie. Dude, he literally pulls oh from the concept of like not to sound sus, but the rods of God, bro. Hey, like uh, hey, where yo. they basically he takes a tung- <laughs> he takes a massive t- just pure t- piece of tungsten. <laughs> um, metal massive rod <laughs> in, in the shape of like a rocket or rod however you want to do it and all he does all he does with it is he shoots it up into space right and he like throws it all the way up there and then he walks down to this guy and starts to talk about the battle and shit he's like all right whenever like to start this battle i'm gonna flip this coin and when it hits the ground we start and the second it hits the ground the tungsten rod comes down Yo. and pooks the motherfucker like, oh man, that's like the the Goku hit rematch where he just like like right. had that Kamehameha come back. That's some galaxy brain shit. Like, dude, it was so crazy. cool though. You see him planning it, and you're just like, oh, what's this gonna be like? And he literally, dude, he fucking, oh, he played this guy so hard, dude. Man, I, I think it's, it's actually probably, good. It's probably actually good. Yeah, I think it's actually I think, good. But I, I will say, Mishoku. yeah, I don't think it's Mishoku because I I, I, I would probably admit though. Yeah, hell no. This show has some like great great episodes like backstories to certain characters it like has a good world building the main characters like dope as fuck like there's a lot of good in this show and the storytelling is actually very well done in certain moments certain moments have great storytelling that one blue-haired girl like her backstory and shit but yeah man 
Um, you know, this is a tier list. A list. Can, if I could just say really quickly, there's it's a crime that two other isekai are not on this list. I don't which are? Specifically, the saga of Tanya the Evil, which is like one of the four that the isekai quartet Ashi. is. Uh, it's it's so good. It's like this like drained like works at an exploitative company like salary dude in Japan gets like reincarnated as like a little girl, and then he ends uh, up like using yeah. knowledge from his past life to absolutely <laughs> devastate in a war. It's actually like really solid. I can't sell you enough on it just by the premise, Wait. but like it's so good, dude. It's re- and the it music called? is fire. It's called The Saga of Tanya the Evil. Oh, oh shit. We have heard it's so, so many good. good things about that. Oh, what, what's it the is like phenomenal. One? And the second one is Ascendance of a Bookworm, which oh, is oh yeah, uh, bro, it put a lump in my throat. It was uh it's another story okay. about a full grown like dude getting bored into the body of a little girl, I think. <laughs> but uh it is absolutely like because uh, I'm somebody who has a disability. I'm legally okay. blind, and uh so like oh. I, it's seeing like uh an isekai like touch on like somebody who gets reincarnated into this world and instead of being overpowered you're actually you have a disability having like a brain of like a full-grown adult and then being put into a the body of spoilers a terminally ill child okay wow. and having to make the best out of that it is so good it's really really phenomenal I absolutely love it. Thing. Um, if you like like it's 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 a little bit kind of like rough and then you get like some feel goody bits and things like that it's not like a battle shonen by any means but it is it's like kind of like it gives you like dr stone i absolutely love it you should all check it out sounds that, great that. Okay, okay. Well, man, you know, I think that brings us to a close, relatively speaking. Well, one last thing, we do have to talk about a, a special place called the Flow Patreon, where, um, you know, there's a lot of good content you can find in behind the scenes from this podcast, as well as access every podcast early, you know what I'm saying, right when it drops, things of that nature. Have almost yeah. 110, have almost 120 pieces of content over there, you know what I'm saying? So tap in. Uh, you know, we, we appreciate it. You know, anything is good. And, uh, Mori and Phantom, appreciate you guys a lot. I know you got. I appreciate you got your own channel, right? And also TLS. So, so if you got, if you got anything, you want to shout out as well. Feel free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's been a blast. Thank you guys so much for having me. I'm really obsessed with D and D and One Piece, and I've got the Scarlet Pirates, which did a SBS, which is like a question yeah. corner thing that Oda does every now and mm-hmm. then. And then uh, that's my own channel. And then I'm also the head cook of the Last Arc. We also do a lot of One Piece content. Uh, we got some goats like Straw Hat, yeah. Lucas, Denden Kuji, Grand Line Bound, a whole bunch of great names, uh, all working together as a crew to and stuff like that if you're up to date on one piece and you want some more delightful one piece content definitely come check us out the last arc on youtube we just started our tiktok game and we got a little bit more than three views on a tiktok i just posted so i'm pretty happy about that <laughs> but yeah we got nothing but good vibes over there uh we also had the flow podcast on on a yes, hey. so yeah go check that out it's 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 been a blast thank you guys for real oh, thanks man thanks for coming uh, on man yeah definitely check that out it's a great great stream we had you know check tap into that and, you know you know what i'm saying absolutely so uh so yeah man i think that brings us to a close unless i missed anything i guess i did not so eat your vibe <laughs> take us away man thank you very much as i rightfully own the intro and outro i will say goodbye listeners this has been your new addiction this has been your new favorite podcast series this has been the flow peace out love you guys flow out peace i want to say bye peace, peace. Bye. uh